Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this series of videos, we're looking at all the effects inside the Boss Katana. Now, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, go and have a look at those as well. But in this video, we're gonna be concentrating on the rotary effect. If you like what we do, it would really help us if you liked and subscribed. And don't forget to click on that little bell button down there and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. So what is the rotary effect? The rotary effect originally started as a large speaker cabinet that used to come with Hammond organs. Now, you had a rotating bass speaker and a rotating horn, which is like the treble speaker. And these speakers used to rotate at different points. And it's to mic up the speakers at different points, you used to get this massive stereo effect. And you heard it on songs like White Shade of Pal from Procol Harum, and there's many Jimi Hendrix songs, and also Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun uses that effect as well. But Pink Floyd have used it as well, loads of bands have used it, and it's a really cool effect. So let's explain the effects inside the Boss Katana rotary effects because they're quite simple. But what we're gonna do then is to take it to an expression pedal and then set the expression pedal and use that to control the speed and the depth. So we've only got three controls on this. We've got rate, depth, and level. Now let's bring the rate all the way back. <laughs> And it almost sounds like a phaser, almost like a flanger. But let's speed it up a bit. And speed it up a bit more. Now, the depth control is how prominent the effect is. With the Boss Tone Studio app, you can set at what point these effects are in the chain. And I'm gonna cover that in the next video. But just for this video, we're gonna look at depth as the amount of the effect. So if I bring it back to naught, and then I bring it up to 100. You can see the effect gets more pronounced. So we're gonna bring that back to about 50. Now level again, as in most of these effects, as these effects are in series, it's the overall volume. Let's bring it back. We get no volume. And we get loads of volume. Now things start to get really interesting when we go to the assign tab. So the first thing I've done here is to set the function to FX because we're actually in the FX slot. And then I've set the rate, I've chosen rate down here and set the minimum to 40 and the maximum to 80. Now what that means is when I have the pedal back at its heel position, the rotary is quite slow. And when I push the expression pedal forward, I get more speed. Now, as I said before, this effect drastically changes depending on what chain you're using. So I'm using chain two on this, and the reason is the effect is coming after the amplifier. But as I said before, I'm gonna explain that in the next video. So I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. If you haven't liked and subscribed and you'd like to see more videos from the Studio Rats, click like and subscribe and click on that little bell button down there and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Yeah.